right, so we've made it out here at the boat ramp. Um, we're just getting ready for our trip. It's about 4, 4.20. Um, it's a bit dark right now. Um, we're trying to get here as early as possible because it's Sunday and every dog likes to get out. Um, and speaking of that, another guy just rocked up. So yeah, I'll talk to you when we get on the water. So at the moment I've got on the Zurich live prawn. I've been using this twitch twitch method to see if we can get like baby squire or snapper or something. Hopefully we can get a bycatch. catch. You never know, anything can happen. I might switch over though because haven't been getting much action. But yeah, fishing's been decent at the moment. It's a pretty nice day. I've had about one bite and I'm just about in so. I can get a hook up or something, she's a bit quiet. So well, I've just casted out the whole team. Been getting quite a few hits. Um, yeah, not the greatest weather at the moment, meant to be 10 knots, more like five. Well, meant to be five knots, more like 10 knots. Technique is off with twitch twitch, and I had a hit. Look what it's done to me plastic. She's busted up. Yeah, it's just what happens when you get a good hit. Yeah. You get a hit bad, yeah. from bad. Bottom. Bottom. Fuck. Alright, get rid of that, eh? We'll chuck on. Looking out the bag. Let's have a look in the bag. We need this. Not much in there. It's just started a new tackle box. Oh. Uh, let's go. We have one for. There's a bath in there. Zip her up because you know, don't want any lures getting loose. <laughs> we'll go into the main compartment. I left over the double clutch. At this place, I've been hit a couple times. The power shrimp, they go right. Let's test them out, eh? Oh. There she is. That's the magic right there. Right, so I'm just gonna chuck this not too far out. I'm gonna see how this goes. Wait, let them lie now. You know, about three, about three, maybe five meters deep. Um, all I'll do is just a little twist, twist, twitch like this, and then just a slow roll. Get a little pause in there because you know the fish like to hit on the pause. Get another little pause again, twist, twist, twitch, and then hopefully you can get a hook up. A bit close to the boat here, so. Wait for it to sink to the bottom because you know not all 
all fish just sit top water. Oh. Line in again. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Have a little pause, let it sit. And then twitch, twitch, twitch again. This will probably be one of your best chances of catching a fish, even if you catch a fish. You have to get another pause again. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I'm using this new reel as well, guys. Tell me if you reckon it's pretty decent. Picked it up for a steal. Kind of bargain. Good old BCF. Twitch, twitch, twitch again. Get nice and pause. Twitch, twitch, twitch. And I think that'll be the end of this cast. Yeah. Break up. We're going to move to some deeper water, about 10 to 15 meters. Hopefully, catch some bigger fish. Alright, as we're moving to some deeper water, I'm going to change to a different style. See what I'll use. It's, I, might, I might try some of these. This is prawn. I've never used them before. I might give it a geese, see how it goes. Yeah. Guys, we're just laying some line out here. We're about 15 to 16 meters of water. Try and get something at least before we just hopped on, but nothing worthwhile filming. Right now I'm two for two on this little crawfish. Hooked up on what is it? Is that what up on? A grinner, which I'm pretty sure is a bad sign. Before I had another another hook up, um, I was holding two rods at the same time. Just lifted up on one rod, bang I was on. So, so I can go three for three, eh? This time later. Alright, we're at the bottom. So all I do is just pretty much just Twitch, twitch again. Simple technique, just and just let it sit there, pretty much. Get a little wind in every now and again. Boy, up again some bites. Yep, there you go. There's a good one. Ah, lost it. Oh no, I think it's still on. Ah, uh, another green. I'm pretty sure. Very, very small. Whatever it is. Yep, another grinner. You want the net? <laughs> <laughs> these are not the greatest things to catch. Bad luck, these fellas. Get a measure on him. <laughs> nah, he's up again now. Guys, I'm on the bottom. I'm getting hit as soon as I drop it down. Yeah, so I'm just doing the slow dig for a little flick of sand. Seeing that in the rod, I just got a log. See if you can get it. I don't think you're good 
guys, 14 meters of water. We've just hooked onto a flatty. How about it? Barcal flatty. Don't get any better than that. Let's hope we can hook its granddad, eh? Alright, dad's on again. Oh, this isn't a grinner, so... There we go, a little pinky. That's what we're here for, but... It could be a little bit bigger, it'd be, be nicer. It's probably about 15, 20 centimetres, maybe. Nothing, nothing exciting. Yes. Alright guys, I think we've found the jackpot here because Connor's just been smoked on the good old on the halty, so one we're gonna try get the try get the plastics back out and hopefully we can catch a big one. Yeah. So guys, I just changed to a different type of corn because the halty just weren't strong enough. I was getting smoked and um they were just ripping in half. So I changed to a harder part of one. I can see the bloody bites yet, but we're This is the ball that I'm using. Yeah. So I've just hooked on to probably a pinky. Get away from the electric. Oh, good fish. Is that a tight line? Is that a tight line? Yeah. yeah. It's going hard, guys. Do we have a net? So guys, yeah, I've hooked onto a pretty decent one by the looks of it. It's going again. Dad's trying to chase it. Get keep the pressure on it, mate. Just keep the pressure on it. As you can hear, it needs to get the pressure on. Some serious rod band day. Yep. Yeah. Might be going, but it might be shit, mate. Far out. Just take it easy, mate. Just take it easy. The new reel's getting a good test out. Oh, look at that. You're probably on a shark. No, nah, I don't reckon. Yeah. Would have been snapped off by now. Don't pump, don't, don't go up and down, just keep the pressure on the rod. Wow. Serious bigging on here, guys. <laughs> you can tongue the jag if you want to do that. Nice for you. I think you've got a baby shark in yourself. Don't, don't keep tightening that drag up. I, I'm, Mate. I'm getting it up, boys. You won't be getting nothing up to keep tightening that drag up. Some head checks at the start. Alright, so I'm starting to get some line back on it now, guys. Oh. Oh. Going hard. Might be sharp. Don't know. See if you can see some colour, eh? Yeah. Oh, right, man. It's going hard. Some serious rod, man. Mm. Connor's testing out the new reel. Cool. Just bought it about four days ago. I mean, getting way on you guys. Deepest, deepest. Shark, I'm going to. Guaranteed. Just don't go too 
Look at this. Pinky has more headshakes out here. He's had a vacation looking slack in that moment when he got it down. Serious fight here, Quinny. Oh my god, we're at 2500. Getting it up. 3 to 5 kilo rod. Oh no, it's a, it's a, what is it? Oh, massive. Yeah, you know what it is? Nah. Big toadfish, mate, by the looks of that. Yeah. Is it it? Toadfish? Yeah. That's Big. one serious toadfish. It's a toad. Uh -huh. Alright, that wraps it up for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we did making it. Um, all hands were on deck today, so we couldn't get as much videoing as we would have liked. I'll quickly run you over the setup that we did use today, just in case any of the viewers were interested. This is the Daiwa Rev Ross 2500, paired with the Black Savage 2-4 to kilo rod. I really enjoy using this reel and rod as it is ultra smooth, reliable, and is not too pricey actually. It's around 280 to 300 bucks pretty good for our average fisherman um, or someone who's keen to get in for a fish or someone who doesn't even want to spend as much money as say 400 bucks on just a reel and still got to worry about all the other gear so yeah really good setup perfect for the pricey range and yeah I'll pass it over to Connor so guys this is the setup that I run today I my reel is the Daiwa Ed 2500 and my rod is the G Lomas um four to ten pound yeah this is probably the favorite um this is probably my favorite light to medium setup works well today handled that pretty big toadfish that i caught and yeah there she is all right thanks mate um yep that wraps up for the video hope you guys like this video um and yeah stay tuned for another video coming out soon